Hey there, welcome back to Lead Coding. So before getting started with the problem, I would like to make an announcement. On our channel, we are creating separate playlist topic-wise and company-wise as well. So please don't forget to check that. And we are trying to create a new playlist in which we will be recording the interview experiences of tech giants such as Google, Microsoft, Amazon and other big companies. So now let us start with the problem. The problem is maximum profit of operating a centennial wheel. You are the operator of a centennial wheel. So this problem description is quite huge this time. Let us try to go through it. And the centennial wheel have four candelas. Each of the candela has room for up to four people. You have the ability to rotate the candelas counterclockwise, which costs you running cost. So in each rotation there's an there's a cost associated with it you are given an array customers of length n where the customer i is the number of the customers just arriving before the ith rotation and each customer pays the boarding cost in dollars when they board on the gantla closest to the ground and he will exit once that the same gantla reaches the ground again you can stop the wheel anytime including before serving all the customers if you decide to stop serving customers all the subsequent rotations are free in order to get the customers down safely note that if there are currently more than four customers waiting or waiting for the wheel only four will board and the rest of them will wait for the next turn because the capacity of a cantola is four at max return the number of rotations you need to perform you need to maximize your profit so and if there's no scenario in which we can make a positive profit we have to return minus one in that case so basically we have to maximize the profit and we have to uh, how is the profit calculated it is calculated as the number of the customers that we have already entertained multiplied by the amount of uh, the amount of the boarding cost that they paid to us minus the number of the rotations that be performed and multiplied by the cost associated with each rotation so let us try to see the same through an example and for that we are jumping to the whiteboard which is actually great in this case so this, this is the customer list which is given to us customers are arriving first eight of them comes then three so let us take the number of the customers that we have already entertained and we are denoting it by C which is 0 initially I'm taking REM as the customers which are remaining or which are waiting for the gantula to come down and then they can board so these are the waiting customers it is also 0 initially then I am taking R as the number of the rounds which is also zero initially so now let us say eight customers come and it is as it is the first rotation so let me make so this is our centennial wheel so this one is okay I'm denoting it by one two three three and four so initially one is at the bottom and remaining is eight now remaining is eight as eight customers they arrive now out of eight four will board on to this and four will be remaining so now remaining will be four and four will board on to this and in this case we can calculate the profit now as the uh, as the number of the customers that are entertained is 4 now because uh, 4 are boarding on to the centennial wheel the profit will be 4 multiplied by the boarding cost which is 5 minus the cost associated with the uh, rotation which is 6 and as there is only one rotation it is 1 
1 multiplied by 6. Now let us take the scenario when again 3 of the customers arrive and now the total will be 7. Now 7 are waiting and the configuration now will change. It will be something like this. 1 will come here, 2 will come here, 3 here and 4 on the ground and 4 are already there in 1. Now out of these 7, 3 three will be left and 4, four are going to board on to the centennial wheel. Now the number of the customers which are entertained till now becomes 8. Now again calculating the profit. The profit in this case was 20 minus 6 which is 14. Now in this case it is 8 multiplied by 5 minus 2 into 6 which is equal to 40 minus 12 and this 28. Now as 3 okay we have to increment this as well. In the first case it was 1 and now it is 2. Now no more customers are going to come but we know that there are three customers which are remaining so we can perform one more rotation and in that rotation the configuration will become something like this 3 will come here 4 1 and 2 So 4 are already sitting here, 4 are already sitting here. Now 3 will come and board on to this. Remaining will now become 0. The customers entertained will now become 8 plus 3, 11. And the rounds are 3 in total. So now calculating the profit and it is equal to 11 multiplied by 5 minus 3 into 6. 55 minus 18 and it is equal to 37 yes it is equal to 37 and it is the maximum profit that we can have and so we got the maximum profit by rotating the centennial wheel three times so three is the answer in this case as we can see the first example is simulating the same thing we have 37 as the profit and we have 3 as the uh, number of the rounds. So there might be a case in which the customers remaining is 0 and we will have to wait again. So we have to perform an extra rotation in that case. We can look at the same using this example. In this case, in this case we have three customers initially so three of them can directly go to the centennial wheel and the profit will be calculated as 3 into 1 minus 1 into 92 then four are going to arrive and four of them will be directly will directly go to the centennial wheel and none of them will be waiting so 1 minus 177 is the profit in this case then zero are going to arrive and zero were waiting so now as we did an extra rotation we will have to increase the cost we will have to increase the number of rotations and the profit will be reduced so this was the case I was talking about and we will have to handle this as well so what's the best way to approach this we can try simulating the same which we just saw on the whiteboard we can keep variables which will keep track of the number of the customers entertained the round we are currently carrying on and the customers remaining which are waiting for the uh, centennial wheel to come down again so that is what we are going to do in the solution and let us write it down first we have C is the number of the customers which are already entertained number of customers which are waiting and
and what else uh, the number of the rounds and this will be my answer which is 0 and my profit Pmax it is the global profit and I am initializing it with minus 1 now I will run a for loop on customers adding the current number of customers to the already remaining customers and if remaining is smaller than 4 in this case I will take whatever the number is there so I will simply do remaining is equal to 0 and C the number of the customers plus equal to remaining this I will have to do before making it as 0 else in all the other cases I can only take 4 customers at max so C plus equal to 4 and REM minus equal to 4 now we have to calculate the profit which is the customers entertained multiplied by their boarding cost minus the number of rounds and each time the number of rounds is going to be incremented R multiplied by the running cost and if this profit is greater than the global profit we have to make the global profit as P and answer as R now after this it might be the case that uh, there's something in REM so few customers are still waiting we have to deal with them as well so while REM we have to calculate the same thing it is actually the same we just don't have to add this or we can do an OR operation here and I is smaller than customers dot size then you can add this else you can add zero and I think now we don't have to create an extra while loop we can return the answer and if it is the case that P max didn't change if it is still negative then we can return minus 1 else we can return the answer hmm in the line number 8 Pmax is equal to so if i is smaller than this or rem it is 3 for the first case and running it on all the given test cases 3, 7, minus 1 and 9 and it is correct so let us try to submit this it got accepted now talking about the space and the time complexity as we can see that uh, there are n uh, if the size of the customer array is n then the 
for loop is running n times and after that it is going to run it is going to run remaining divided by 4 times and we haven't used any extra space here so the space complexity is big of 1 it's a constant space solution so this is it for the solution thank you